Let's talk about grounding. I want to discuss with you all why I insist on touching the earth for as much as I possibly can throughout every day that I'm alive these days. And not just by the means of putting my feet in the mud as depicted in the thumbnail, but through some other kind of creative means to be grounded in my own home, all right? I, in this video, I want to cover a few things. One is why I think it would be incredibly unwise to um, dismiss the, the concept of, of earthing or grounding. I'll kind of use the two interchangeably. Why I think it would be incredibly unwise to dismiss this idea as woo-woo or pseudoscience, okay? Because I think there is a lot more um, validity here than most people give credit, all right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna really dive into that. Fool of a took. I'm also gonna share how I'm actually able to be grounded for more or less 20, 20 or so hours per day. And I'm also gonna touch on what my, my own experience has been um, grounding, my own anecdote and how I, ha I did, you know, little, not, not spoiler, but um, foreshadowing. I did notice um, a minor uptake in my overall well-being, so I'll get into that at the end. Um, but first, I do want to say, before any of you guys head down to the comments and say, yo, Aaron, I'm only here for you to talk about meat, um, I just want to point out that while I do love sharing about the carnivore diet, as, as we've coined it, um, I really just want this channel to be about all faucets of health. And while I think diet is an incredibly big, it, it might be the biggest piece of the puzzle towards true health, true healing, true, just be coming back to being a human. You know, all animals live healthfully when they live naturally. And I think looking at all the ways humans can go back to living naturally, diet is the biggest piece, but there are other pieces. And I think grounding, um, has its place. So let's start by sharing why I think it would be foolish to dismiss this concept as pseudoscience or, you know, like, it, I feel like it's laughed at. Like, you're like, no, that's ridiculous. Don't, don't be silly. Well, the first thing here, I want to draw on two facts, okay? One, one is a fact, the other is 99% fact, maybe 1% assumption, okay? Fact number one, when our bodies are physically grounded, touching the earth, the earth being a, having a negative charge, our bodies independent of any other electricity have a slightly positive charge, okay? We can physically see the voltage of our bodies is changed, all right? Basically we are neutralized. We gain electrons from the earth and subsequently our slight positive charge is neutralized, okay? So we can physically see measurably through the science, everyone loves, it needs to be scientific, but we can physically scientifically see a change, okay? And I'm gonna go more into some actual nuances we can see and changes within the body, but let's just say that's fact number one, okay? Fact number two is that, and this is where there's the, the most tiny sliver of an assumption, which is that we as a species have been grounded for millennia, okay? Now I say there's a fraction of potential um, assumption because I wasn't alive 10,000 years ago, but I think it's pretty safe to say that we have always been grounded as a species up to the last couple hundred years when we've started insulating ourselves more and more from the ground through things like pavement, rubber soled shoes, even leather shoes, you know, people say they are more conductive, but there's still a some level of insulation there for sure. So at this point, the best evidence suggests, and I, I talk about this when it comes to, you know, eating meat and a carnivore diet and stuff. The best evidence suggests that we split off from the common ancestor of the great apes like four to six million years ago. And if we assume that we were predominantly occupying trees at that point, then we can say that for at least two to four million years, we have been consistently in contact with the ground where we can consistently see a measurable change in our physiology. Now, taking those two facts and again, extrapolating that to the 
understanding that nature is incredibly um, purposeful, okay? There is no accident in any biological evolution. Like everything in our body is there for a specific reason. If we didn't need it, we wouldn't have it, okay? So I think it would be very foolish to think, well, that this change in our voltage and how we can see it changing our biochemistry would play no significant role in our overall health. Now, do we know what the long-term outcome is gonna be of grounding and how it's gonna benefit us? No, and I don't think we ever will because no one is ever going to fund that study because as we know, most I I don't know what the percentage is. You guys can let me know in the comments, but I'm sure it's something like 90% of studies, health studies these days that are conducted in the world are industry funded, right? Looking for results that favor the industry, you know? Coca-Cola spends more money on medical research than uh, the NIH, you know? Like these companies want to put out these studies to promote their products. So anyways, what I'm suggesting is that no one's going to, invest money to study grounding because not only does it not have um, a very lucrative market, there's not really much of a way to monopolize it besides maybe, you know, like grounding mats and stuff. But I'm going to tell you later how I am grounded nearly all day and I don't even use any of that stuff. But also it suppresses the medical and pharmaceutical industry, which is paid on us being sick. So and I don't even think that's a conspiracy at this point. That's pretty hard fact. So that's why we're never going to have any long-term studies on it. Um, but, 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 there is a small body of evidence that does show the short-term benefit and practically instantaneous benefit. So a couple things happen when we're grounded. Yes, our body neutralizes, and the effects of this are as follows. Number one, we see a reduction in blood viscosity. We see the enabling of our cardiovascular system to work just more efficiently, all right? That's big change number one. Um, we, we can see in a live blood analysis the actual difference of our cell's ability to move, just literally just get to where they're going when we are grounded or just post-grounded, okay? Just post-grounding. Um, another thing we can see is the reduction in inflammation. Um, we can physically see through, I don't know what the scans are called, but you can look it up. Inflammation is reduced when we are grounded, okay? And how, and these two are, are no doubt connected, and how these two play into our long-term functional health, you know, I don't know if we'll ever know, right? But it's very clear that there is a positive benefit to be gained from touching the earth. And I, I think as much as there's no long-term evidence, like it just seems obvious. We have always done this. There is a measurable positive difference and nature is incredibly intentional. And there are these anecdotes, you know, I watched this um, earthing documentary, to be honest, I haven't looked that much into it because it kind of just makes sense to me, you know, we should touch the earth. We always have. It has a positive benefit. And it and it and the the key point here is that it takes no effort to do. If it was like a monthly subscription or it was really strenuous to do this, maybe it, I would second guess this, but it's like it's just obvious that it has no energetic output. I don't need to do anything besides tuck a little wire into my waistband. Um, where was I? Yeah, like some of the anecdotes in that documentary, and you can feel free to go watch it, um, but I don't think it was worth an hour and 15 minutes. I think it's as long, however, however long this video is, is all you need. It's good for you, it's effortless, feels good, do it. Um, but like this one woman was sharing a story of how her baby was suffering and she was, it was always crying and it could, it could actually, like they were touching skin to skin and she would put her feet on the grass and it would, it would uh, calm down, it would feel at peace finally because it was always crying. And then the baby could sense when she broke the grounding through their connection. I mean, I mean, hey, I, I, I can't say that happened to me personally, but these anecdotes are interesting and I just think it just makes sense. You should do it. So now I'm going to talk about how I'm managing to be grounded about 20 hours per day. And I'm not advertising any grounding gear. Like you can buy these grounding mats, but... 
I'm a do-it-yourself kind of guy. I like to get my hands dirty, make shit. So I was gonna go the, the do-it-yourself route. So the first thing I did was I implemented um, basically sleeping grounded. So what I did was, and, and there's two ways you can do this. You can use the grounding port in your in electrical sockets because that grounding port is literally grounding to some sort of rod at the bottom of your house for your electrical continuity of the house. Um, but I think it's maybe more effective depending on electrical interference to just run a wire and stake it into the ground. So I have this big thick copper wire that I've staked. I'll show you guys a photo. It's uh, just staked into the ground outside my house and that snakes up to my room where at first I had some wires and foil underneath the sheet. And because you perspire a bit when you're sleeping, the connection is pretty consistent. Um, but actually since then I just run a wire across my sheet and I don't even notice it when I'm sleeping, but I'm able to be grounded. Um, what I also do, so I'm sleeping for, or I'm in bed for nine hours a day, let's say. Um, when I'm outside, you know, walking around, I'm mostly grounded. Uh, my feet are touching the earth. Although, you know, our cityscapes are not designed to be very grounded. Like concrete is an insulator. So when I'm walking my dog and we go onto a sidewalk for a little bit, we're not really grounded. Um, even though I have these shoes that have like a copper thing and I actually got these um, like a year ago before I even cared about grounding. It was just an extra feature. I think it's called, um, I'll type it right right here because I can't think of the name right now, the brand. Um, but yeah, so I'm grounded when I'm sleeping. I'm grounded most of the time when I'm out, when I'm surfing, when I'm in the water at the beach, um, when I'm working. So downstairs here, I've, basically relayed a wire from the grounding port of the electrical socket and I, I run it and I just tuck it into my my waist. You know, it's like, it seems, because we're always trying to come back to this natural perspective of how to live as a human is designed to live, it seems weird to use kind of this technology perhaps to achieve what should be natural, but science isn't bias, right? If, if I'm you know, connected to a conductive source, which is connected to the earth. It's as far as I'm aware, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but I am grounded. And unfortunately they cost like 10 bucks, but I don't have a voltage meter to check my own voltage. However, I do have this, um, I don't know if you can see very well. Let me, is it focusing? Focus, you big bugger. Anyways, it's this uh, old analog one. And basically I use it as like a continuity test. So what I can do is I can test from the grounding port on the outlet to the copper wire that I've um, stabbed into the ground. And when I attach the positive and negative ends, I can see that the, the continuity is, is impeccable. Like they are connected through the earth, which is pretty cool. So yeah, in that way, I'm grounded when I'm asleep. I'm grounded when I'm out in the ocean. I'm grounded when I'm working. The only times I'm not really grounded are when I'm, you know, cooking or moving around, when I'm on the scooter, because, you know, I'm on just rubber wheels on concrete. I could not be more insulated. Um, but yeah, I think I'm grounded like 20 hours a day. And now this leads me to the last portion of this video, and I'm gonna share my own story with how I feel it did it's subtle and this is not incredibly scientific. So I would appreciate if you guys didn't grill me in the comments like Aaron, that's like, whatever. Um, I know it's not very scientific, but this is just my, my story. I learned about grounding. I've always kind of known, but I've never really taken it seriously as I'm assuming probably a lot of you guys watching um, don't. It just, it's kind of dismissed as this stupid thing. But anyways, I started doing it I started by prioritizing just, you know, being outside in the day, but then I very quickly grounded my bed with um, the wires and stuff underneath the sheet. Now I have it above, but at the time just underneath. I grounded myself where I'm working in the day and I was, yeah, I was grounded 20 hours a day. Sorry, that was very repetitive. Um, I, I, I started doing what I just said I did. Now, basically about two days in, 
I'm not sure the best way to describe it, but I just felt lighter. I just felt more at ease and energetic in my body, a little bit more mental clarity. Just overall, my whole bodily machine was just operating more smoothly. I just felt better in my skin in a very subtle way. And I know what you're thinking. That's probably a placebo effect. And I'm not going to disagree. It very well could be. But the one reason why I don't think it was is one, because of everything I've said in this video, that we can see measurable changes in the body that are seen to benefit us. So we know that this does have some positive impact. But more because when I started feeling this general uplift in my spirit, I didn't know what it was. I didn't know why it was happening. And I was, I remember being, I was kind of troubleshooting like, well, you know, am I eating some different food? No, I'm still just eating beef basically every day. Is it coming from a different place? Am I getting more sun? Is the air quality improving here in Bali? <sighs> That's not happening. Um, and then eventually I was like, oh shit, no. I just implemented grounding two days ago. And I was, from that moment on, I was sold. I was like, this is, this is the shit. Like this stuff really works. Um, but that was kind of short lived because about a week in, this sort of plateau of bliss I was on started to kind of peter down in the other way. And so I thought, ah, oh, you know what? It was just some random, maybe it was something beyond my control. It wasn't, it wasn't the grounding. But then... I pulled back my sheet and I noticed that the, the aluminum tape that was connecting the circuitry under my, where my body would be when I slept had severed. So I was actually no longer, and I think this was before I was grounding when I was working. I was only doing it at night, which is a good chunk. Nine hours of grounding in the day is more than 99% of the population, at least in Western countries, right? And sure, in Africa, they're, they're actually always grounded like humans are meant to be. But anyways, I noticed this was severed. So I actually wasn't grounding. And, and I, I had noticed without being aware of this, the severed connection that my kind of general uplifted feeling had diminished. And so I thought, well, like there's got to be something to this. I obviously repaired the connection. And then a few days later, I did feel that general lightness again, that general better well-being and obviously at that point you could say it's a placebo because I was genuinely expecting it but so yeah I mean again I understand that's not very scientific and if you think I'm speaking a load of garbage then please let me know in the comments I've but that's my experience and that is why I think it would be very unwise to dismiss this as a as a pseudo-scientific concept right we can see the benefit we know we've always done it um I myself noticed an improvement and many people have noticed a much bigger improvement. I think, you know, the more inflammation, the, the more, or the worse off you are, probably the better experience you'll have. I would really appreciate it if anyone with an experience would leave a comment sharing what, please share what your experience was um, grounding, whether it was incredible or none at all. Um, and I think the, the icing on the cake here and why I think, why I would recommend, and I do recommend all of my clients actually prioritize this is because not only can we see it's beneficial, but it takes no effort to do, right? Like it took me maybe 20 minutes to set up the grounding on my bed and the wire down here in the workspace and prioritizing a little bit more time with my feet on the grass and in the ocean is not a hindrance at all, right? These are such easy things to do. And once you do, once you do them, you can kind of just forget about it. So I just think for the energetic, for the, for the investment, let's say, the return is, I think, well worth it. So that's my take on grounding. There you have it. I, uh, I appreciate you guys all watching and, uh, I would appreciate any comments that you have on the topic. I, I, for those of you guys still hanging around, I do want to just say that I really appreciate you. And it's really my goal in this channel to just bring about all topics of health and healing. And when I say health and healing, I really just mean returning to how humans live naturally and all the different pieces of the puzzle that make that up. And while I do love to talk about meat, and I think 
like I said at the start, that a carnivore diet is one of the biggest pieces of the puzzle. It's not the only piece. And I've said this in multiple videos now, but things like grounding, things like upregulating adult stem cell release, things like optimizing your sleep. I recently got these, do I have them here? No, those aren't them. I recently got these red um, glasses that I wear after like seven every night and my sleep has improved dramatically. Like I wanna continue to explore all these different nuances so that we as humans collectively, every one of you guys watching can spread the news just be a human and live like a human is meant to live and you will feel so good. So yeah, anyways, uh, that's the video. Now go touch the ground.